All right, hello and welcome to another video about um, height fields in Houdini. So in this video, we'll be taking a look at uh, masking by using noise. So Houdini provides a adjusted note for that. So if we type HF mask and then select the mask noise, we get the note that I already put, put down here. So this note will basically make a um, noise mask for you and instead of affecting the height it'll affect the mask layer now if we look at this so here we selected the um, node I just put down this pretty much is exactly the same as a height field noise uh, the only thing changed about this is the noise layer was set to mask the center noise was disabled as we can see here and the amplitude was set to one. Because really what a mask is, it is a um, layer that is from range zero to one, and that is just you know an indicator of what is going on with your um, with where you want to certain certain things to happen. So um, another thing that changes is in the post processing options. Now we didn't look at these before, but um, the gain variable is affected. So if we go to this normal height field noise we can see that the post-processing tab is completely empty and that the gain isn't ticked now this post-processing tab i'll have you look at yourself uh, because it does have some interesting options but um it i would not say that it's something that is included in the basics and with the knowledge you get in these videos you can figure out what these do so looking at this gain we can kind of illustrate that better here the gain here i set it at uh, 0.95 and if we lower this and you'll have to look at the height field for this, you can see that there is uh, less contrast. And the more we increase this, the more contrast we get until it hits one and you barely have any um, mid-tones at all. So that is what the gain does. It is basically a contrast slider that allows you to change around um, how much your mask or height field um, is changed by the mask and with that uh, we also have a bias and this is centered about 0.5 and if we lower this the mask is going to shrink and if we increase this the mask is going to expand now this can be very useful if you have the perfect shape for your mask but you don't think it has the right coverage so you think maybe oh, I wanted to increase it a bit more or a bit less and this is a very good way of um, increasing the um, size of your mask without sacrificing resolution which what is what would happen if you for instance use the height field mask shrink or the height field mask expand now this height field mask noise um, works like any other noise so we can increase or decrease the amplitude we can mess with the roughness um, we can increase or decrease the fractals Lacanarity, and basically it'll do the same thing as a normal noise. So let's say we think this is nice, we just put it into a noise node for instance, and using this we can get some interesting results. So looking at this, I don't fully like it, so I decrease the uh, roughness a bit and I decrease the gain a bit. And if I say this is what I like, then you can just use this for your result. Now on this height field noise, I also increase the gain a bit. And what that will do is it'll basically um, increase your noise pass. And it'll stick it to the limit. So as you can see here, it just stuck itself to the top. And we can illustrate this better with just a height field noise. So let's take this height field noise, set it up to the um, height field itself. And as you can see, it doesn't do much now. But once we increase the gain, you can see that these islands start to form, especially if it's at full. And at the default values, this isn't very useful, but if we lower the amplitude to say 100, you can see that this can be very useful for creating terrain formations and playing around with the element size, maybe increase or decrease the bias a bit. 
And as you can see, with a single node and not a lot of effort, we were able to create this very cool looking um, base for your terrain. So um, this was a pretty short one. Um, so the next video will be about erosion. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.